If you're not using AI tools in podcasting, you're missing out. In this video, I'm going to show you the six tools that I use to get the best quality podcast, create more traffic, and create more attention. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, I'm Jeremy Ryan Slate. I am the co founder and CEO of Command Your Brand. We are your podcast PR and production experts. If you want to find out more about what we do, you can grab our brand new book over at commandyourbrand.com slash book. Reminder, if you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button below, give this video a like, and leave us a comment. Let us know what you thought of this video. In this video, I'm going to cover my six favorite tools that are AI tools for podcast production, growth, and creating content. And I will let you know, as I record this video, we're going into 2024. When we originally started this company back in 2016, we actually started as a podcast production company and went strictly into podcast booking. In the last year, we have started producing podcasts again, and I'll tell you why. Because of the tools I'm going to show you, we've been able to bring down our production costs by about 80% and produce way better quality content for clients. So you are absolutely going to love this video. The first tool I'm going to cover helps you to get better sound recordings. And as a podcaster, one of the single most stressful things that can happen is bad audio, background noise, or any of those things generally interrupting your recording. This tool is called crisp.ai. It's a background sound filter, and it has a few different functions. You can have it just block out sound on your side. You can also have it block out sound on the guest side. And it has a really great feature for transcribing, which I use when I'm putting together workflows, taking notes, or generally making sure everything I talked about in a podcast conversation was covered. The transcribing feature is incredible. When you're putting together content in 2023 and 2024, really, as we're heading into that, one of the single most important things is what you're doing with video and the content you're creating to get found online. Being that if you're not on YouTube and you're not on Rumble, you are really selling yourself short. So one of the most important things are your thumbnails. And sometimes you can't find the exact image you're looking for or the image quality is just so poor, it's going to make your brand look bad or somebody's just not going to want to click on your thumbnail. The tool I use to fix images is called Upscale My Image, and you can check it out over upscalemyimage.com. We actually grabbed this through an AppSumo deal, so if you're seeing this, I'm not sure if it's still over there, but you're going to want to check that out. So how this works is you can take an image that's a little bit lower quality, upload it, and then wait for Upscale My Image to do its thing. <clears throat> You'll notice the much lower resolution on the video or the, the image, sorry, on the left, because this one was actually pulled as a still from a video. Now, if we download this image, we can open it, and you can see how much the image and quality has increased from the one we've uploaded. This is going to be a game changer for those of you trying to make really, really great um, thumbnails for your videos on YouTube, Rumble, and maybe even just better videos overall. Since we're focusing on video a lot in 2023 and as we move into 2024, one of the single most important things you can do is optimize your videos for YouTube so that people see them and that people want to actually watch them. But one of the biggest limitations is writing good headlines, writing good descriptions, and figuring out the best tags. I've actually put together a system using several AI tools that will help you get it done in such a way that it's going to actually do it for you. So let me show you how that works. This tool is called GPT for Excel and Word or GPT for Sheets and Docs. I use it as an extension for Google Drive. And what this helps me to do is put an entire transcript into a document like this one, open up the extension, and then let it run on my document. You'll see here I've pulled it in for time and by timestamps for a couple different reasons. I've noticed there's a limitation on this one of length. Now, regular chat GPT, you're limited to about 500 words or 2,000 characters. This, your limits are much higher, but there is still a limit. I've found that it's somewhere around 
45-ish minutes. So sometimes if the episode is a little bit bigger, like I had an episode that was over an hour, I have to get it done in two pieces. But it's a very, very useful tool. So then I have a couple saved prompts over here that I'll use to get the most out of this. So now this transcript, before I show you how I actually use it, let me show you how I got it. Now you may have different ways of getting the transcript, but this is how I get it. So we're over here on the actual video on YouTube. We're gonna go down to the description, and if you scroll all the way down, you can use YouTube's auto transcription feature. Leave the timestamps on, click, and just drag. And you can copy that. Come over here. I actually keep a document just as my optimization document in Google Drive. I'll paste it in here, and now we have our transcript. So now what I'll do is I'll do a select all, and I have a couple different prompts that I'll use here. I'm going to use this one. From this transcript, please write a title, 200-word description, and tags for a YouTube video that will drive a lot of traffic and help it to get found in search. So I'll run the extension. And it may take 30 seconds to a minute to actually give you what you're looking for. And here we go. It's given us a title. It's given us a description. And it's given us tags. Now, when you want tags, you're going to want around 500 total characters, which this is not. So once you paste this in, you can add more tags based on what you think the keywords work as. Now, once you're actually in YouTube Studio, I'm going to sh show you another tool in a second to actually take this um, file that we've used in GPT for Sheets and get even more out of it. But first, let me finish with GPT for Sheets, and then I'll show you uh, once how we get more out of it. So we'll paste in the title, paste in the description, paste in the tags, and then we'll add more tags as we need them. We can do a little bit of research and, and get some better tags. So the next thing I'll actually do here as well in GPT for Sheets and Docs, I'm going to get rid of this description is I have another prompt that I use here to do the chapters for the video as well, because it's really useful. From this timestamp transcript, define the chapters for this YouTube video. Don't use the word chapter. Put in the timestamp in, uh, put the timestamp in front of each line. Use only the starting time, not the ending time. Keep the chapter title short. Use 10 words each. The chapter should cover the entire video. So now we're going to do this. And I've come up with that prompt because I've gotten so many bad versions of this. This is how I've actually gotten the chapters a lot easier. So we're going to wait for the, for the actual prompt to run. You need an open AI account, not a regular chat GPT account to do this. So um, you can do a little research and figure out how to do that. So cool. Here's our chapters. I can actually go and paste our chapters into the video. And... The next tool I want to talk about is called VidIQ, and it's an actual, they have a website you can use, which at the moment doesn't seem to be functioning on Chrome, so I've been using it on Firefox, and they have an extension. So it's a really great AI-fueled fueled tool. So if you see here, they give you an optimization score, and this video scored 100 out of 100, and their AI will actually scan your description, title, and tags, um, any other things like end cards, your thumbnail, it'll take a look at these and see how it scores. So this video scored really well. But what you can do is say this title that we brought in from uh, GPT for work, maybe it wasn't that good. So you can get some AI title recommendations and you can use that new title recommendation. And based on that, it'll update your score every time. Now you'll have to click outside of the title area so it searches for a new score. But this will help you to get a lot more out of it. Now there's one other feature I really love for vidIQ as well, is they have an AI comment writing feature. So you can comment back to people a lot quicker if you're getting a lot of comments in. And it'll give you several different versions of a reply. And maybe you'll like that one, so you can put it in there. Maybe you don't like exactly how it is, so you can do a little edit and then hit reply. This is another way to really speed up what you're doing on YouTube and get the most out of each production. Video production is also a really big thing that made our editing in the past really hard and also made it really expensive. So the next tool I want to tell you about is something that's actually sped up our editing time like crazy. It's called the AutoPod extension, and you have to have Premiere Pro, which is an Adobe product, for it to work. 
but the AutoPod extension goes for about $29 or $30 a month. And it's a really, really useful tool to actually bring into Premiere Pro and it takes your editing process and turns it on autopilot. Okay, so we're in Premiere Pro and I've actually already brought in all the files. I like to do what's called a three camera edit. That means a shot of the guest, a shot of me, and a shot of me and the guest as a split screen. So when you bring in all three of these files, we're in the AutoPod extension. There's a few, I have another video you're gonna wanna check out about how to use the AutoPod extension, which you can actually get the link to at the end of this video. If you wanna know all the ins and outs of how to actually use this extension. But basically we have three video files and three speakers, and we're actually gonna go through now and watch it edit automatically. For those of you that spend a lot of time on video editing, this is gonna blow your mind. Look at how fast the AutoPod extension works, edits, and works through the whole process. As I said, if you wanna know how to get the file set up, any other things you need to know in order to do this process, I have a whole nother video on it, but this is a great tool to create an incredibly shot final product of your video that you can use in all these places, save you a ton of time, and look like an absolute pro. After you've got a great video, you've got it on YouTube, you've got it optimized, and you don't have any background noise in that video, there's another thing that's really gonna matter, and that's getting the most out of each piece of content and getting it out there in so many different ways. Creating shorts, creating reels, creating video segments, those are really hard, take a lot of time, and are very, very tedious. So the final tool I'm gonna tell you about is something that changes the game for creating content and getting out there in the right way. This tool is called video.ai. That's V-I-D-Y-O dot A-I, video. And when you upload a video, it's gonna take a little while, but what it'll actually do is it'll take all of your chapters and make individual videos for you. It'll create shorts based on what shorts it thinks you're gonna do best. It actually scores them out of 100. And it'll create ones for you with different templates, but you can actually go in and optimize each one of these templates so that you, maybe it's one you like maybe it's one you don't like so you have a lot of ability to change things and do the most with it but this is an absolute game changer because now you're not only creating great content but you can 10x the amount of content you're creating to get it out there in the right way there's a lot of different ai tools you can use in podcasting there's a lot more that i use in my business but for the sake of this video, these are the six that I found most helpful you can get the most out of. If you found this video helpful, leave us a like, drop a comment, subscribe to this channel. And the next video you're gonna check out is how to use the AutoPod extension that we showed you how to use earlier. This is gonna help you to get the most out of every single video you create, speed up the amount of time and the amount of content you can create, and really make the biggest impact.